Installing Rolex System 3 soffit and fascia is easy. Soffit panels are available in solid, center vent, fully vented, and hidden vent profiles. Strategically place vented panels to obtain the required net free area per local building codes, or alternate solid and vented panels to obtain optimum airflow. Another option is Rolex Stealth Soffit. This hidden vent system provides a smooth surface free of visible venting, while its hidden vents promote continuous airflow to keep attics cool and dry. The first step is choosing the right soffit starter, also referred to as wall receiver. Soffit starter is available in several profiles. Choose the style best suited for your application. For this installation, we'll be using J-channel Part E for the wall receiver. Position J-channel on underside of soffit framing and fasten using staples or nails spaced at 16-inch intervals. The next step is to measure, cut, and install the soffit panels. For each soffit panel, measure the distance from the wall to the front of the fascia board. Mark soffit panels for cutting 1 8 inch shorter to allow for variances in the wall to fascia distance. Cut panels with a power saw using a non-ferrous blade. Insert panels into starter and staple or nail to bottom of fascia board. Secure panel through the flange or grooves only. Be sure to use 1 inch aluminum trim nails if you're not stapling. Insert tongue of next panel into flange of installed panel and continue for length of run. When you reach a corner, measure and cut a length of miter divider. Make a point at one end and a wide V-cut at the other. Insert the V-cut end into the wall starter. Then fasten the pointed end to the underside of the fascia board using nails or staples. Measure and cut soffit panels at a 45 degree angle to lengths needed along miter divider. Hold panel in place and mark cut to be in line with center of MD strip. Panel grooves should line up at the miter divider. Insert miter cut end into MD strip and fasten to bottom of fascia board. When installing fascia cover on the sides of a house, begin at the farthest corner from the front yard so seams will be less apparent. On front of the house, begin at the farthest corner from the main entrance. Measure the height of the fascia board from the roof line to the face of an installed soffit panel. If needed, cut the fascia width to fit. Fascia comes in many height sizes. Choose what works best for your application. When turning a corner, notch and remove two inches of the bottom flange from the fascia cover end you'll be wrapping. After notching, bend this cut end backwards to a 90 degree angle. If drip edge is present, Slide the fascia cover behind the drip edge. The bottom of the fascia cover should fit tight against the face of the installed soffit panels. Fasten fascia cover to existing fascia board by pre-drilling and nailing along the bottom flange. Position the next fascia cover on top of this bend, flush with the corner. Fasten fascia cover to fascia board in the same manner as previous panel, but do not face nail. Use matching painted 1 and 1 quarter inch aluminum trim nails spaced every 18 inches to 24 inches. Do not drive nails in all the way. An alternate method for finishing corners is to use KO or KI corner trim. Following proper installation procedures will help to ensure better looking, longer lasting results. Remember, quality installations begin with quality products. Choose Rolex quality products for your next installation.